Hey guys, Wilson here from the Shea and Wilson Show. Today I'm going to do a video on Monster Loves You. Um, I've never played it before and I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into other than it seems to be a choice-based gameplay sort of thing. Got it on a Steam sale today, so off we go. Help me begin your story. How does it go again? Well, since there's so many choices... Actions and attitude. You're not awake yet. Soon your first eye will open. Ooh, here we go. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of... Oh, I'll be heroic. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. Okay, uh, I reckon I'll be born then. So what do we got here? We got bravery. It's your capacity to overcome fear and intimidation. Oh, I got zero bravery. She's starting off well. Don't run a bag of hammers. So, okay, it's like stat based type thing. Game full of Paragon and Renegade decisions, I guess. Huh. Healers tend to be kind. Alright. Let's see what this does. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Redo. You awaken in the searing season when the sun shines strongly overhead. Or, you know, summer. Your eyes open. You're a morsel just barely born. You float in a spawning vat. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Well, I can just float. Both of those options sound really douchebag. Hmm. I'll be in brave. Oh yeah, I mounted him. I'll be a, I'll be a, I'll be a bro about it. Let's let it go. You release the morsel. Violet no longer. It will have to grow a new mouth to replace the one it lost. Feet are breaking up among the solid clumps on the floor of the vat. Well, I might die. Oh, snap. Bravery up in this. Don't grieve. It's logical. The needs of any one monster are as important. Oh, oh, I died. <laughs> what? Oh. 
Oh, I bonded with the other one. Hmm. You have grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. You're going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Alright. Well, this seems to be very, very text-based, so... I guess you guys are going to have to cope with me reading it all out loud. Adventure it is! Choose your adventure. Floats in a pool of cave water, puffing her body like a bulb weed. She points out something deep. Oh, she points at something deep under the water. Well, let's use some brains instead of just killing myself all the time. Oh, cleverness. Oh, that was, that was a crazy adventure, that was. Hamrag, an adult moth. Hamrag. Sleeps in a big pile of monsterlings. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm definitely not afraid of blots. Breathe through his mouth. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a rat. The monster community does not tolerate rats, so I'm gonna cover for him. chance to get my honesty up. So I got six days. This looks like a fight. Let's do this. Fending off some of the other monsterlings. You sidle up to the lichen pile. There's a huge piece of lichen. Is that lichen? How's that said? Oh, my idiot is showing on the internet. Kicking or both. More adventures it is. Let's see what this is all about. Nash Gash, Nash, Nash, Nash spies a delicious mouse head mushroom. She plucks it from the floor, but it tumbles from her claws and bounces into a dark crevice in the wall. I'm being the most punsy goody two shoes monster ever. It's dark and you scrape your sides terribly. Oh, I ate it myself. <laughs> okay. 
firm it up as much as I can. Oh, I see. So this is all. This is all character building stuff. Let's get some ferocity, huh? There we go, ferocity. Simple as that. A roly poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock and coughs. It looks vaguely at you and the other monsterling, showing no fear. Let's go have a conversation. Kindness up in this bitch. Nash Nash is a bitch. She's a Cinder, I bet. She slaps me because she likes me. <laughs> Your heart hits soft. <laughs> That's awesome. I flex the pecs. More rocks. <laughs> Prank blots nights. Cleverness, honesty, and kindness all pumped up. That's good. Okay, zero days left. Let's Let's see what respect is all about. Makes sense. Puberty stage. I want to get a piercing. Marinus shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Marinus stops in the warm, humid chamber with a pit on the floor. She points to the pit, which seeds with thick mist. Let's be gung ho. Like a shonen lead. <laughs> I like how some of these options here are questions like, <laughs> please tell me that others are falling. <laughs> some of them are crying. Maybe clouds. Well, this is very text-based, everybody. Well, do I be a bro? Do I be a huggable bro?
You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more passages out of here than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. Oh, I am not like letting someone leave. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, such thick mist. There's so much of it. Ghosts ain't shit. One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention towards you. Their eyes glow different colors. <laughs> Cringe a little. See, now I gotta wonder, what are the options? Is there, like, is there any benefit later on to choosing options like, oh, be a wimp, run cowardly, all that sort of stuff? I mean that change the ending later on? Am I going to get like the you're a big fat tool ending by being such a gung-ho monster? We'll find out. The ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask, do you fear? Wait and say nothing. Lecture the ghosts about the monster life cycle. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you go on. First, our growing bodies must be destabilized so we can take on our yawn. All right, here's how I'm doing. I have 63% bravery, 48 cleverness, 24% ferocity, 18% honesty, and 33% kindness. All right, and that's the childhood phase of Monster Loves Me done. Next, we go through adolescence, so obviously I'm going to grow a fringe, take up bad monster poetry, that sort of thing. So look forward to that, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.